Well, it's not just police officers who are out trying to keep the streets safe. In St. Paul, a group of ambassadors are doing their part to help make their neighborhoods a better place. And the good news here is their efforts appear to be working. Our Maury Glover is here with more. And Maury, how are they going about this? Well, in all, about 30 community ambassadors were hired to hit the streets several times a week. Their goal to keep teens and young adults from trouble and run-ins with police, which prevents crime at the same time. So how's school going? Every weekday after school. You still at humble? And three nights a week. He's a pretty good kid, though. Jim Mitchell and Steve Randall don't just talk the talk. Let's go over this way. Okay. Yeah. They walk the walk. Because I love working with kids. I have six kids of my own. 15 grandkids, and I, I found this is my niche. I love working with young people. As community ambassadors for St. Paul's Youth Intervention Initiative, they wander around downtown, getting to know the teenagers hanging out and stopping trouble before it starts. We're starting to see a flare up of uh, issues around transit stations, uh, particularly in downtown as kids were moving from school to their neighborhoods or from the Mall of America back you know, home or wherever that was. And we said, you know, we can take an all law enforcement approach. We can, you know, kind of crack down, or we could take a kind of an open-handed approach, and say, look at if you want to, if you want to get right, if you want to do the right thing, we're going to help you do that. Since the program started in places like the Payne, Phelan, and East Side neighborhoods, the number of juvenile arrests dropped 13 percent compared to June through March the year before. But the number of teenagers arrested dropped a whopping 63 percent during those times when ambassadors were actually out on the streets. I think it's good because it says that the city cares that we help our youth and that we pay attention instead of just locking them up. We try to do something different. And I think that means a lot. Now here they hiring 12 bucks an hour. Here? Yeah. Whether it's a job or a hot meal, the ambassadors try to give the teens something to do other than being bored. If you engage them in something, Expose them to fishing or the theaters or plays or just social skills. You know, they'll pick up on that and they, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, don't, I didn't mean to swear, I didn't mean to swear, but if you call them on it, then they self correct. And giving them hope for the future is good for everyone. They're just being here and they know that you care, and that's the biggest thing. Now, in the last year or so, the program has referred nearly 2,000 teens to some sort of social program, and this summer, 30 young people got jobs through the city's Right Track program. So it sounds like it's working pretty well. Yeah, great idea. Yeah. All right, thanks, Maury. Great story.